How do you switch your data from an old Android over to a new Android? Let's talk about that. So I recently got an S25 Ultra and I'm going to do a super quick unboxing. And this is my first go at transferring the data over. So we're going to crack this thing open right now, not spend too much time on any of the packaging, a lot of filler in here, some marketing material and whatnot. And it comes with a cable as well. So first thing you want to do is power this thing on. I'm going to do a little fast forward magic here. Now, one of the tricks I like to do is you get prompted to accept all these agreements. I find on each screen, you don't have to select them all. So find the minimum. You don't need to be sharing more data than you need to. Some carriers have what's called SIM protection. It keeps people from transferring your numbers. You're gonna to wanna to turn that off for this process. But uh, then pretty much once you bring your new phone near your old phone, it's going to start the transfer process of your SIM card. It's gonna ask you, are you sure? It's gonna show you the number. It's gonna ask you to enter things like your old code from your other phone. It's gonna send you some verification information. And uh, once that is all out of the way, it's going to basically tell your carrier, hey, there's a new phone here. We're transferring that SIM card over. Some carriers do charge a fee for this i find it pretty easy to argue you can call them up and let them know they didn't have to do anything throughout this whole process and you did the work i've had mixed results with getting them to refund me that money once you're at the screen you're going to select the appropriate option in my case this is transferring from an android to an android it gives you a little barcode to scan here and then it asks you for your old code from the old phone punch that bad boy in and then it's basically gets your phone ready um, it asks you to log into your Samsung account, lets you know what it's going to copy, uh, lets you know that's going to transfer your data, and it'll do that either wirelessly or via cable. I highly recommend, if capable, using the cable. In this case, my old, both of my phones, my old and new, are both USB-C, so the, the cable that came in the box will work perfectly fine. It will be a little quicker. You won't have to worry about running on a Wi-Fi. Either way, you're going to want to let your phone sit still for this and basically follow the instructions on the screen. Um, if you have any accounts that sync via the cloud, a bunch of this data is going to get overwritten anyway, but not a big deal. So when you get to this screen, it's going to ask you what you want to move. Most people will just be fine with selecting everything, but I, you could also do the custom option to kind of use this opportunity to clean up your phone a bit, get rid of some of the apps, and you could do things by category or go down deep into the details here. Like it shows you that we're copying over Wi-Fi information, Bluetooth. Um, and then once you're ready, you've made the selection you feel comfortable with, click start transfer or click transfer. I like to make sure my other phone stays awake. One thing to keep in mind is that this will use a fair bit of battery and you really can't charge. There's no easy way to charge during this process. So you might want to charge ahead of time. Um, eventually you'll get to a couple of screens asking if you want to set up things like Bixby and Gemini. I'm not into that stuff. So, but, uh, you select what feels good for you. I absolutely despise Bixby. Um, the wallet information will transfer over. You might have to kind of reconfigure some of your cards, but it should work pretty straightforward. And again, anything where you have to like do any disclaimers, I recommend selecting the least bit possible to be able to move forward. But again, do what feels good for you. And then once everything's done moving, you'll be dropped to your home screen and everything should look as it was on your old phone. Thank you so much for checking out this video with me today. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up button. If not, the thumbs down works as well. And as always, I appreciate the subscription. Peace. Thanks.